Hello logical people, this is Venkatesh. Having an infinite supply of water and two containers, one for three liters and one for five liters, how would you measure four liters? Feel free to pause the video and give a try before checking the solution. Once done, keep watching the video for the right approach. You have to follow these steps to solve this puzzle. In the first step, fill 3 liters bucket completely. In the second step, pour that water into 5 liters bucket. In the step 3, now 5 liters bucket filled with 3 liters of water where there is space for 2 more liters. Now in the step 4, now again fill 3 liters bucket and pour it into 5 liters bucket. If bucket was full, that means remaining water in 3 liters bucket is 1 liter. In the step 5, pour that 5 liters of water down and fill it with 1 liter of water which was remained in the 3 liters bucket. In the next step, again fill 3 liters bucket and pour in into 5 liters bucket. Now the result will be 4 liters of water in 5 liters bucket. This is how we can achieve the solution to this particular puzzle but there is an easy solution with less steps. Let me explain the way to solve these bucket questions. You can get 4 liters by pouring 1 liter out of the 5 liter bucket. If you figure out a way to do that, you have it solved. You need a 1 liter space to pour the 1 liter into. You would have to leave 2 liters in the 3 liter bucket. So if you figure out a way to do that, you have the problem solved. To do that, you need to get 2 liters into the 5 liter bucket. So you can then put the 2 into the 3 liter bucket. Here how we can achieve this. Fill the 5 liter bucket and pour 3 of it into the 3 liter bucket, then empty the 3 liter bucket. This will leave you with 2 liters in the 5 liter bucket, dump the 2 liters into the 3 liter bucket. Fill up the 5 liter bucket and pour 1 into the space in the 3 liter bucket. So now you have 4 left in the 5 liter bucket. So this is an interesting uh, logical puzzle asked by several companies. The expectation is the approach that you are going to follow in order to achieve the solution. In the first approach, whichever I have explained, has more steps compared to the second approach. It would be good to know both the approaches. That's all for this video. Do share if you find different ways to solve this puzzle. Thanks for watching. Let's meet in the next video with one more interesting puzzle. Thank you.